When I tried this plane for the first time, I thought it would be too complicated to play it effectively, because it has a lot of very different weapons. The plane has a 75mm cannon, machine guns, bombs and turrets. At the same time, in the back of my mind, I had to keep track of my speed and plane's position since it's a relatively big and heavy plane and by the time I noticed that I shouldn't be diving into buildings, it might be a bit too late to do something about it. So I had an impression that gameplay with this vehicle involves too much micromanagement that wouldn't allow me to be effective because I simply couldn't focus. But now, when I've played it for a while, I can confidently state that the first impression was absolutely correct. Half of the time I spent flying this plane, I had no clue what I was doing. I played as a bomb fighter gunner flying tank cannon operator, and such gameplay somehow turned out quite effective. In this video, I review a definitely unusual vehicle, XA-38 Grizzly, a premium plane in USA Tech Tree at 3.7 battle rating. First of all, it's one of those planes that carry cannon a big one, and can use APHE rounds that are identical to the ones used by many tanks at the same battle rating. So it's not surprising that majority of my kills were done with this weapon. Grizzly is like a flying tank that always shoots into the least protected roof area and there is nowhere to hide from it. When opponents know that Grizzly is flying somewhere around, the emotional damage they suffer is unbearable. Furthermore, considering that planes and projectiles' velocities adds up, technically the penetration is even bigger than shown on stat card, which allows it to successfully penetrate the majority of tanks even in frontal projection. Ricochets happen only when hitting armor at extreme angles. Considering the damage of APH rounds, most successful penetrations result in one-shotting the opponent but using a belt that contains only these projectiles will increase plane's respawn cost significantly. That's why I sometimes had to use default belt, which is not so effective because it has explosive rounds mixed in, but better than not being able to fly at all. Another good weapon against tanks are bombs. The plane can carry either 100, 250 or 500 pounds bombs. No matter which bombs you choose, the plane will carry four of them and drop them in the same way. First, two bombs further away from the fuselage will be released and the rest can be dropped one by one, which gives you three chances to attack ground targets. At the same time, you have to bear in mind that there is no bomb sight and Grizzly is relatively big and heavy plane, so you won't be able to get so close to opponents to drop the bombs accurately so only the biggest bombs are reliable. Most of the time, as soon as I had a chance, I was releasing them on the first targets I saw, preferably on capture points or other high traffic areas, since as long as you carry this additional weight, it decreases plane's already bad maneuverability, and even if you miss, you can always deal with those tanks later using the main 75mm cannon. Depending on bomb size, the respawn point cost will increase even more, which can become quite high if you want to take the best loadout possible. There are two high caliber machine guns that will mostly be useful against very light, usually open top tanks. Because sometimes you will face ground vehicles that are too lightly armored to activate fuses of APHE rounds, and if that round doesn't explode, it deals very little damage. Machine guns, on the other hand, allow you to destroy such vehicles without even using the main cannon. Of course, one could argue that 75mm high explosive rounds easily one-shots all open-top tanks, but usually there are not enough squishy targets to justify taking a high explosive belt instead of APHE. Additionally, most of such open-top vehicles are SPAAs, and it's not the smartest idea to attack anti-aircraft vehicles with a big low-flying aircraft. In air combat, a couple of machine guns don't have enough firepower to reliably and quickly take down other planes. Most likely, as soon as they notice that someone is shooting them, 
they will start maneuvering and Grizzly won't be able to keep up. Though it's still nice to have a chance to take down a plane before it gets on your 6. Machine guns in this case can be a lifesaver compared to the main cannon which is way more difficult to use against planes. But most of the time you won't have to worry about hitting planes in front of you, because they will be behind you. It's a default situation considering Grizzly's maneuverability. In this case, the best you can do is to switch to gun of you and take control of two turrets that can rotate 360 degrees. In general, the upper turret covers the area above and the lower one below, but there is a little area where both turrets' coverage overlaps, which allows you to fire four high caliber machine guns at once. These turrets won't save you every single time you are under attack. It's nice to have the ability to defend yourself, but even if you manage to successfully destroy the attacker, most likely your plane will be at least damaged and another enemy fighter will be able to finish the job. The only situation when turrets are really effective is when fighting lower battle rating planes, especially ones that use low caliber machine guns because armor-piercing bullets don't do much damage to the fuselage, fuel tanks are self-sealing, and a very wide, over 9mm thick armor plate covers the crew members. Not related to plane's performance in combat, but still important to notice is that despite a low battle rating where you fight almost starting vehicles and mostly inexperienced players, Grizzly is a tier 4 which allows you to research everything up to and including early jets, which is very useful feature for premium vehicles that are usually bought to research the tech tree. At the same time, I don't think that Grizzly is suitable for new starters, unless you are ready to deal with a very steep learning curve. In order to use it effectively, you will need to learn everything at once main cannon ballistics, dropping bombs, and using gunners while controlling not so maneuverable plane at the same time. I would rate XA38 Grizzly 7 massive shields out of 10. Grizzly can be one of the best planes for its battle rating when it comes to destroying ground vehicles. It can quickly destroy many of them and doesn't need to go back to the airfield very often and even can defend itself from enemy fighters a little bit. Of course, in ideal conditions there should be a dedicated fighter clearing the sky, which will allow Grizzly to fully realize its potential by focusing only on ground targets. If you like planes with big anti-tank guns, bear with me. I have made reviews of German planes with 75 and 50mm cannons, and for real big guns and joyous, there is Italian plane review with 102mm cannon.